Force enable view dev tools in production build. Often we cannot reproduce a bug in the development environment and need to debug it in production. Unfortunately, in most cases, the view dev tool extension is disabled in production builds. Let's take a look at this simple view counter app that is deployed to Netlified and therefore in production mode. If we try to open it, it's not available because as already mentioned, it's in production mode. Usually the view DevTool extension has its own tab, but it's not available. Luckily, there's a way to force enable this extension. Let's take a look how we can do that. First, we want to get access to the view app instance, which we can do by querying um, the element that contains this property, view underscore app. If you take a look at the object, we see that this is the um, object of the view app instance, and we have, for example, access to the view app version. Let's store the version in its own variable. Double check that it's available. Okay. Next, we need to get access to the view dev tools instance, which is available on the global window object. If we inspect this object, we can see that it has a property enabled, which has the value undefined. Let's set this value to true because we want to enable the dev tools. Additionally, we need to reinitialize the view app instance, which we can do by calling emit on the dev tool object, and we pass the emit name, the view app instance, and the view app version. Last step is to reload the browser dev tools. And if we now check the tabs, we can see that we now have the view dev tool extension enabled in our production build. And we can, for example, manipulate the data of the count value. If you don't want to do this manually, there is also a Chrome extension available in the Chrome Web Store, 